What's up, YouTube? So I'm gonna do a little unboxing video. Christmas is right around the corner. And uh, I started to open this up. Thought I'd show you some of the EDC I got in my pocket lately. This is a three and a half dollar knife from Walmart. It's a uh, titanium bonded, some kind of titanium issue. There's some reviews on these. It's actually a pretty good little knife. I have no complaints with this thing for cost. It's super smooth. It's quiet, locks right up. Um, not much to it. Belt, belt clip's a little stiff. It's pretty thick for, for a clip. It's got actually a little sway back in it. That's how how much spring is in there. I mean, it, it is, it's like, I, I'm, I'm literally, I can't even pick it up with my thumb. Like it barely moves. It like hurts your nail to pick it up. It's really, really stiff, but you know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Tip down carry, uh, no adjustment there. But, uh, you know, kind of leaf shape, serrated blade. Um, you know, take it or leave it. I like a plain, plain uh, blade too. And it was orange. I mean, you know, hard to lose it. And uh, for 350, who cares if you do? This this knife gets a hard time. Nobody likes this knife. And um, I bought it because of the hole. Um, you know, it's it actually it actually you know I'm left I'm, I'm not left-handed. Let me try to do it with a hand I actually know how to use. Okay, it's a little bit of a fail. Let's try that again. Because um, you just gotta break it out, you know. You just gotta you just gotta get it. Um, get it just right, and, and you know, it's still, it, honestly, this knife is, uh, it just gets better the more it breaks in. And you got a lot of surface area around that, that, that joint there because it's not just a pivot, it's a big old ring. Um, it's got a, a, a little thumb plate. Um, overall though, you know, there's nothing like it. I mean, it, it will deploy. It is, uh, considered tactical. Um, um, I know it's uh, Chinese. These are all Chinese, actually. Uh, but Gerber blade steel is tough, man. It's it's tougher than most. Uh, you ever try sharpening Gerbers? The moment you put it on a file, you'll see what I'm talking about. The uh, you know fit and finish uh, had a little bit to be desired, so I I I, I went ahead and took a file to the back of this just to even it up a little bit. You know, you do sacrifice your your acid finish. When you go for the grind, uh, you try to reshape a little bit. It's got no, no changeable position for the clip. Um, but uh, I think the battle grip, the reverse grip, is where this thing's at. You know, you stick your finger in a hole. Yeah, you can. If you want to use this and stick your finger in a hole and do something else, and uh, you know, the French guy who had the, a knife with a hole in it originally, you did that so he could use his hands and, and wouldn't drop it off the scaffolding. But this guy, when you put her in a reverse battle grip like this, and get your your pinky in that hole. Man, there's something about that. That just that just feels like it ain't going nowhere. You know, I, I don't I don't I don't really. You know, it doesn't do anything for me to put my finger in this hole. That you might as well put your thumb on top of it. You know, or do a pinch grip, or maybe just you know use that choil, that finger choil. It's this is. I'm not saying you can't do it. You can do whatever you want. And people, you know, they do do that. My, mine only goes up to the second knuckle. I mean, that's as far as, in as my finger will go on that hole. Um, and uh, one thing I like about it is this ring can loosen up quite a bit. Like, you know, substantially. To the point where this is kind of flopping around. Um, like, like it, it gets easier. You know, the looser those that little ring is, the, the, the easier this is to deploy. The thing is, um, it can get substantially loose, and, and it doesn't... It ain't falling apart yet, you know. It doesn't fall apart with this ring coming loose. It, it stays together. Like, it just does. So, um, that and the lanyard, you know. Um, my, own, my, own little, my own little take on the lanyard not, is pretty simple. I gutted these, uh, this paracord. And then uh, you just overhand knot. Again, you know, one after the other. One on the side, you, you overhand knot. And then you take the other rope, you overhand knot, overhand knot, overhand knot, overhand knot, overhand knot. If you know what a sheep shank is, it's, it's kind of like that, only all in one direction instead of it pulling against each other. All right, enough about the Gerber Remax. Um, but uh, this is probably the one I, this is my go-to. Um, I was not 
completely aware of how this functioned when I got it. I mean, I, I kind of figured it was what it is, but I couldn't really tell by the packaging if it was assisted. Um, it doesn't really matter. And I've, I've, t I put an edge on this thing twice already. It is, it is soft. Um, there's no markings on it whatsoever. This doesn't say China. There's no thumb hole. Um, this is tumbled, stainless, and it just takes the edge right back. Like the moment you need an edge, you know, a couple swipes and, and she's good to go. You can see the love marks there. Uh, I've got a diamond, diamond stone, and uh, it just freshens it right up. This this thing, you know, again for what is this, fourteen dollars or something like that. I mean, I, I don't, and it's got a reversible clip. I've already flipped the clip around the top, um, tip up carry. You know, it's just smooth. It's quiet, smooth. It, it's, it's right there. It's thin. Works well. These are, these are not my only knives, trust me, but. Uh, it's funny, I put, I put some knives in a tin to get to, to sort of separate them and, and uh, get them out of the way, clean up the drawer a little bit, and uh, a couple in there need sharpening. I, I can't find the tin. There's got to be 10 knives in there. Um, um, and I've been lately, I've been carrying a uh, uh, M9 bayonet on my head, straight blade, made by uh, Frobis. Um, I love that bayonet. So let's get on to the unboxing. Uh, I already started opening it. I was using the Milwaukee. What they call, what they, what's the number on that again? I, everybody talks about the number on it. Is it 18? Is that 48, 22, 1990? Uh, got that backspacer. You know, this is a, this is a pillar, pillar build. It's open, open pillar build. Um, you know, I mean, I'm sorry, but. I know it's not dead center. It's three dollars and fifty cents from Walmart. Um, I've seen a lot worse for a lot more. Um, quiet, just predictable. And then this, this also. I mean, come on, let me focus, you fuck. Um, again, it's, it's not. It's, well, and I got the rings loose too. You tighten up these rings, and the and the blade centers up a little bit, a little bit better, because that liner lock. You know, puts that pressure on that side of that blade and, and just sort of leans it over. But like I said, these you can tighten these rings up to the point where they they just uh, they won't let the blade deploy. So um, if there's a problem with the action on this knife, it's in those those rings. It's period. And see, look, I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of shadowy. But uh, I mean, it just gets closer and closer to dead center. You know, tighten those rings up, and she starts to straighten right up. Right. Still a little off, but um, it's a pillar build. Well, open keeps it collecting dust and lint shit. But uh, and, it's, and it, the holes are actually all the way through. You know, both the G10 scale and the liner. Not like a, that Kershaw or whatever it is. It's all made up. You know, Gerber makes good stuff. I I know they've been getting a bad rap lately, but. You know you, how much how many how much stuff can you make in America and still turn a profit? You got to got to get some quantity going, no matter who you are. You start growing and your company just demands it. If you've never run a company, go ahead and try it. All right, let's see what I can do about unboxing this with one hand. So I'm gonna open this up. It's a it's like a razor razor scooter. It's not like something you, know, you guys haven't seen before. I, I thought these went out in uh, like 1999. I didn't know if people still rode these. So, the trick is to get this open and, and ready to go for Christmas uh, for my girlfriend's son. She just wants it ready to ride and doesn't want him, like, struggling on Christmas morning to, like, build stuff because he's, he's eight. So, I'm going to try to cut my leg open, too. Yeah, I doubt it. It's not my first time using a knife, people, so. If it's your first time using a knife, don't cut towards yourself, but if you've done it once or twice and you know something about pressure and you... You know how to use your knife, and you know you made it through the first forty-five years of life. You might you might make it through one more night. Um, so it's got the Razor A5 Air kick scooter anti-rattle technology. We don't, we don't know what that means. It just means that uh, there's less loose parts, I guess, less um, sand in the frame tubes, maybe. 
Let's loot some loose nuts and bolts that are left over. Maybe it's just a hair quality control. I don't know. I'm not in China. I, I guess it's a nice place to do, but I hate to work there. Yeah, I'm not like trying to cut the cardboard. I'm just, you know, taking my time one handed, holding the, holding the camera. You know, so it, it's sharp enough. Trust me. Yeah. I'll do the job. Let's see if I can just kind of get you guys in, involved here. It's a Ruger old army girl. It's hard to see what that girl's doing sometimes. God bless her. Um, shout out to Tough Later Mouse and uh, and have Bolter disembodied hands. Tool reviews. All right, let's get this on the table on the counter here. And um, I'm trying to do this. It's late at night. My truck's parked in the back out in the driveway, and uh, I got to move it up front. I'm trying to get an idea of what I need for tools so I can grab my tools and bring them up and I can move my truck. So let's see what we got in here. Got this and open. Some cardboard packaging. I'm just going to open this up the old fashioned way. The way I know how. Let's get this in the frame. the little shitty tires it's like uh you know going downhill on a mountain got the big old tires on it probably what the air means it's got tires with air you know it's a little it's kind of special maybe maybe i'll take it for a spin what this thing needs is a motor huh going all out some destructions See if we need those in a minute. I highly doubt it, but sometimes I give them a glance, just a once over, make sure I'm not missing anything. I'm not sure this requires a lot of tools. Let's see here. I'll tell you what, let me try to set you where you can kind of see what's going on here for a minute while I, while I try to make this, this happen. Um, I'm not sure where you can see. We'll try it right there. Oh. Let's see. Try it right here. Okay. That's better than nothing. Let's see. Oh. Leave you there for a minute. I'll come back and get you in just a second. Um, yeah, I'm making a video on this on this unboxing. But I've almost got the thing done. Here. I mean, I don't even think it takes tools to put it together. Oh, good. I think it just goes together. But you want to say hi to YouTube? It's gonna hi, be hi YouTube. It's gonna be on on YouTube when I'm done with this. Um. Let's see. I was going to grab it. And I want to going for the Milwaukee knife again. There is an Allen wrench, so looks like it wants me to tighten something. Comes with this extra long Allen key. Guy, free tools, you know. Got to get your money's worth. Uh -huh. mm. I, I, I think the special part about this scooter, uh, and the reason it's called Air, is because the, the tires are have air in them. Oh, really? It's, like, I ho it's, a, it's a trick one, right? He wants to do tricks on it. Yeah, it's easier to do tricks on tires with air in them. Okay. Yeah, for sure. All right, well, so 
there's the there she is there she blows Let's put the lens here a little fuzzy huh um, so it looks what is this probably pull or something push lift screw hmm. one screw what does it do Finally, look at this thing's head. A five air screw, owner's manual. Do not return to store. Okay. Oh. Let me flatten it out. See if we can read it. Pop a riding tire. Man, you know, I'm trying to get room to do anything these days. Oh yeah, give a warning. Do not try this at home. Um, to release the pulling mechanism, I'm just going to put one foot on the deck plate and pull it on that anti-rattle knob up. Raise the T-bar. Okay, so pull it up. All right, I'm going to just try this. I'm just going to have to put it on the floor for a second. I'm put you guys right back here for just a second. Try to follow these destructions. Let's see here. So, put it on the floor. Step on the deck. Lift up the thing. Oh, there we go. And up it goes. And then she's clicked in. So, I just did it now. I'll show everyone the video, Carly. Let's see here. So there it is, clicked in. There she is, standing up straight. And, uh, yeah, what the hell's the honor wrench for? Okay, let's see. Adjusting handlebar height. All right, I just want to see what the handle wrench is for. So, I guess you're tightening this just to make sure that it stayed tight from the factory. So, once you get the handlebar set, which is right here, then you um, tighten that up. And then you take and just, I guess, double check that this is tight with the tool ace end. So, let's just see. Oh yeah, she's stuck. Oh yeah. That's what I like to do is roll out of the head like that. It's stupid. Oh yeah, she's tight. Tight enough. So I guess now we'll go air it up with the compressor in the garage. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's see what happens to this video. Thanks for watching, you guys. And uh, if the video goes crazy and it's upside down and sideways and changes position while you're watching, I apologize. But, uh, hey man, real knows real. Thanks for watching on the scooter unboxing, and uh, know that if you have to put one of these together before Christmas, um, not much to it. Most you'll need is probably an air pump, and uh, that's about it. All right, guys, Merry Christmas. Thanks again. Talk to you, bye.